CNN got an A plus for this one. They really gave a hit to the Republican hypocrisy, uh, not only with what Max, uh, Representative Maxine Waters had to say, but contrasting it with what all those Republicans were talking about as they incited violence. Maxine didn't do that, but they did. Let's take a look at this, and then I will take it on the other side. So this weekend, California Democrat Maxine Waters was asked what should happen if the jury in the Derek Chauvin trial does not deliver a guilty verdict. Her response? We, we got to stay on the street, uh, and we've got to get more active. We've got to get more confrontational. We've got to make sure that they, they know that we mean business. Now, she didn't say what type of confrontation. Still, this is not the language that business owners in Minneapolis want to hear or the people calling for calm including the president or the family of George Floyd. All public schools in Minneapolis are going remote this week out of concern. They don't want physical confrontation. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy called it an incitement of violence and said he will take action against Waters if Speaker Pelosi does not. But this is how Republican Senator Ted Cruz chose to respond in a tweet. Democrats actively encouraging riots and violence. They want to tear us apart. That's Ted Cruz of the not accepting the election results before or after the insurrection cruises, which might lead one to wonder if this is a case of the pot calling the kettle violent. <sighs> to jog your memory, Donald Trump, pot. Our country has had enough. We will not take it anymore. And that's what this is all about. You'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. Mo Brooks. Hot. The day is the day American patriots start taking down names and kicking ass. Rudy Giuliani, pot. If we're right, a lot of them will go to jail. Let's have trial by combat. So uh, I don't recall the Republicans are encouraging violence tweet from Ted Cruz after that. There wasn't one. Or after we heard on January 2nd from this pot. Just like the Patriots gathered at Bunker Hill, just like the Patriots gathered at Valley Forge, just like the Patriots who forged this nation, the men and women gathered here and across the state of Georgia are fighting for the United States of America. As we defend our Constitution, as we defend our freedom, and we will not go quietly into the night. No, they are tearing us apart. Tale of woe from Cruz on Cruz. Also, it's not like this guy is some peaceful prophet of gentility. This is the man who wants to do unspeakable things to books that say mean things about him, asking his supporters to vote on, quote, whether we machine gun John Boehner's book, take a chainsaw to it, or burn the book to light cigars. Where does that rank on the they are tearing us apart meter? Look, Maxine Waters needs to answer to Maxine Waters. She has said incendiary things in the past, and this is a week where the nation is very much on edge. But Ted Cruz needs to look in the mirror, which can be tough, especially for him. <laughs> because you know what they say, when the going gets tough, the pot goes to Cancun. Did he hit the nail on the head or what? But anyhow, look, let's get serious here. It's not a, Maxine wasn't trying to incite violence. Maxine was saying something that, is, that, that we all should be cognizant of. And that is, with all the evidence that came out against uh, Chauvin as he murdered George Floyd, if America is unable to get a conviction on an officer murdering another person, effecting a violent, a very violent act on another human being, a human being of color, if it is impossible for us to convict an officer, and by the way, a black officer has already been convicted for genuinely being startled and accidentally killing a white woman right there in Minnesota. We know that. So if this does not result in a conviction, it would be clear that people of color, specifically black men, can be hunted by bad cops. And we know many of these cops have alliances with a whole lot of these right-wing groups. That was quite evident on January 6th. It would mean 
that there are particular group in this country that police officers present a clear and present danger to them. And the question is, what then do they do if America tells them we cannot even convict officer that we have seen murder one of you in broad daylight in front of a crowd begging him not to murder you. And he looks at them smugly, ignores them until the entire life is breathed out of that body. What does it tell you? Maxine Waters said nothing wrong. And those that are counteracting and acting as if she has said something that is so violent, they should all be saying, how could an officer, a representative of one of our American laws, be such a violent murderer and inflict death on one of our own? We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.